Yo, this is Ars Poetic, and this is my preview of Trepang 2, developed by Trepang Studios, which is set to release on June 21st of 2023 on PC via Steam. This video is a brief overview of the demo and what we can seemingly expect from the full release a month from now. Trepang 2 is an FPS that doubles down on heavy gunfights paired with bullet time mechanics, fast movement, and light stealth elements. I've had a pretty good time with the demo thus far, and I think we're in for a treat once the full release comes around. While it currently is coming to PC only, the dev team has mentioned that they're looking into console ports, though they will neither confirm nor deny anything for certain. I'm sure they would like to see how the PC launch goes before committing to other platform releases, which makes complete sense. Though there were earlier prototypes of this demo, in 2017 and 2018, I got my hands on one of the latest versions, which was originally released in June of 2022. I played this demo for about 4 hours in total since then, and now seems like the perfect time for a preview since we just recently got the official release date trailer. If you're interested in this game at all after watching this video, I recommend checking the demo out on Steam if you can. The demo offers a decent vertical slice of what you can expect from the full game with a couple of playable missions and a combat simulator which provides a lot of replayability. Over the top shooting action is certainly the focus here. You spend most of your time running and jumping around trying to dodge bullets and shoot every living thing that comes your way. While there's a whole campaign with a supernatural conspiracy underlining the whole thing, based on the demo and trailers, I don't think there'll be too much variance to the action heavy gameplay. Which is not a bad thing at all since Trepang 2 does shoot 'em up action incredibly well. Those of you who have played the Fear games might see a lot of similarity so far. Though I haven't played those titles myself, what I've gathered from gameplay videos and the excellent gamers documentary is that there's certainly a lot of overlap here in gameplay and aesthetic design. Trepang Studios even addresses this correlation in the FAQ found on their Discord server. Quote, It takes some ideas from fear, slow motion, smart enemies, big guns, gore, and builds upon them. We are not monolith productions and not affiliated with them in any way. We'll be taking the game in our own direction. It'll start making more sense once more info on the story comes out. So let's dive into the gameplay by starting with the prologue mission. Here's the gist from the press kit. A mysterious group breaks you out from a heavily guarded black site. Your memories are gone, but your combat abilities have been enhanced far beyond human limits. It's time to fight back. Referred to as Subject 106, you start off running through corridors and keeping to the shadows while you escape from your cell with your hands still tied. Pretty quickly you'll come across a pistol and a key to undo those handcuffs. From here on out, the demo feeds the mechanics and weapons to you at a pretty good pace. You can stick to some stealth for a little bit throughout, by crouch walking around and shooting out lights for more shadow coverage. You also have a cloak ability that makes you completely invisible for a short period of time. There is a cooldown, but it is unlimited otherwise. The stealth gameplay is pretty shallow in that it basically serves as a way to get the drop on the enemy or break from their sight rather than being able to sneak past them all together Metal Gear style. The bullet time is what really keeps me going here. As I've said in the past, I just gotta have that slow motion for me, slow motion for me. The combat is visceral and hectic with plenty of satisfaction to be had from laying foes out. With your enhanced abilities you truly can become a one man army. There's not a whole lot of weapons, but I think that's fair considering it's a demo. Good. You found a SOCOM. That's a Special Operations Command pistol. That's right. They have the Heckler & Koch Mark 23 SOCOM, as well as the regular version. Whether you're a big fan of MGS1 or HK, you know what's up. There are only a small handful of weapons in this demo, basically one of each type. However, they've already teased additional weapons in the Discord. I'm looking forward to see what we have in the full release. There are a couple of gameplay mechanics I felt I should point out that they do not have. This would be ADS, or aiming down sights, and any diving or wall running. Their design of the game focuses on high speed action which has you constantly moving around to stay alive, which they feel ADS would conflict with. They also address the question of wall running with an apt answer on their FAQ stating, play severed steel, which 
by the way, is an awesome game worth playing that I did a review on. I could appreciate the fact that they want to stick to their vision for the game and not take away from the targeted experience by adding unnecessary features till it essentially becomes something else. I'm not gonna lie though, I still think ADS would be sweet, even though I completely agree with the sentiment in that it would change the focus of the gameplay too much. If nothing else, maybe having the ADS function as an unlockable cheat or mod after playing through the full game once would be a cool compromise. Either that or something that would help reduce the bullet spread and increase accuracy would be nice. Relying on hip fire, which has such a wide spread with no recoil control makes sense, but is also the only real reason why I miss ADS. The game has a pretty sweet polish. The sound design is on point, as weapons and actions feel punchy and satisfying. The graphics are clean and really shine during combat as the lighting and particle effects turn up to 11 in gunfights. There is also a fair amount of destructibility in the environment, as you'll see structures get chipped away with debris flying around as you bob and weave through flesh blood spatter effects. Leaning into the game's core mechanics, the combat simulator allows you to just take on waves and waves of enemies at different levels. You'll get rewarded with money after each wave that you can then use to buy upgrades like armor, grenades, a weapon kit, or even your own backup task force. These are one-time buys though, so you have to plan your purchases strategically if you want to survive all 20 waves. Another cool thing they added is a toggle for sandbox mode, which allows you to spawn in objects like guns, enemies, and so on. The dual wielding in this game is nuts, as you can essentially dual wield any guns, though from what I tested they do have to be two of a kind. Still, mobbing through hallways and rooms with double shotguns, vectors, or pistols is pretty badass. Especially shotguns as you juggle those terminator reloads for each one. To wrap up here, Trepang is a fast paced shoot em up in the style of fear that also shares some vibes with the likes of Wolfenstein and a little Doom. With no options for cover or ADS, you're constantly running, jumping, sliding, and dodging bullets as you fight enemies in huge numbers. Playing as a super soldier with a healthy dose of slow motion and cloaking abilities will keep you alive as you zip through the environments and demolish the opposition. There's certainly a lot to like here with the execution and polish of the game based off of this demo build. And I'm curious to see how the story unravels and what the devs have in store for level design. With mod support on the table, there'll surely be a good amount of user content to mess around with on PC. Hopefully the game will hit consoles at some point in the future. That wraps up my preview for Japang 2. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you checking out my video. Please let me know what you liked about this preview and if you'd be interested in a full-on review for this game or any particular aspects of it later down the line. If there's another game or device you'd like me to check out and cover, be sure to let me know in the comments as well. If you haven't already seen my Severed Steel review, I recommend checking that out. If you played this game or are liking what you see, let me know what you think there too. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button and sharing it with anyone else you think would enjoy. Check out the channel for other reviews, previews, gameplay clips, and original music. I have a separate YouTube channel and a Twitch account for live streaming as well. If you think you'd enjoy staying up to date with any of the content I'm putting out, be sure to subscribe and check out the links. This is Ars Poetic, dropping the mic. Peace.